Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. For those of you that's been following me, you already know what to do. Hit the like button. You're bottom right hand corner right away, please. Thank you. And for those of you that are new to the page, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell, selecting all. Today is Moo Moo Monday. Come and join the family. Sign up for Moo Moo. Get up to 15 free stock and then get an extra 5.1 on your uninvested money. More than I, I can guarantee you, more than most of you, your banks are paying you, okay? So have your money where you can absolutely be quick to get into the stock market, which is not in the bank, right? So I'm not telling you to take all your money out of the bank, but if they're paying 5.1%, Ka-ching. All right, let's get right into it. Um, I want to talk, go over a few things that's going on today. Forgive me. I got this uh, crazy ringing in my ear. That usually happens this time of the year with uh, sinuses and all of this crap. You guys know if you dealing with it, you, you know. Hey, let's get right into it. All right. At the time of recording this, we could see the Dow was up uh, 112 points and we can see the S&P and NASDAQ are both green. So we're having a decent day for a Monday, okay? Uh, we have come off of six weeks of a great market, six weeks straight. We got tomorrow, uh, CPI, Consumer Price Report, which is always followed by PPI, Producers Price uh, Report, right? And so now the question is, what is the Fed going to do? Um, is he going to uh, pause after we get this inflation data? Is he going to be hawkish or, or, or dovish? Hawkish means aggressive. Dovish means soft. We always have new people here. I know some of you guys say, how many times you got to say that? Every single day because we have new people here. We want to keep you guys moving, but we want to help the newbies along also. Hey, here's what I think is going to happen. You know, he's been, he's been saying the same thing. He uses, the Fed uses his mouth as a tool. Understand that he uses his mouth as a tool. So when it's time, when inflation seems like it's rearing up again, he talks more hawkish, aggressive. Right. And then when it seems like it's cooling off, he talks more dovish. It's almost like he needs some Xanax or something. Right. But you have to understand this is part of the plan. This is one of the tools in the in the Fed's toolbox. And um, to be honest with you, uh, I believe he used it quite um, uh, skillfully uh, with the high inflation, which he poured gasoline on the fire. Right. But um, that's what the, the question is. Will we have a Christmas rally? Will we have a Christmas rally? Well, I'm going to play like a one minute video and then we're going to address Will the Fed mess this up and will we have a Christmas rally? Here we go. Global had a fixed income strategy. Bob Michelle joins us here at Post 9. Is, is the Fed going to mess this up, Bob? Uh, <clears throat> I don't think so. I, I think they want to go out of this year fairly balanced. They don't want to be too dovish and create too loose financial conditions, but they also don't want to be too hawkish and create too much downside here. So they're going to try to thread the needle. That was the message we got from Powell before the blackout period, right? That there are risks to doing, you know, the risks are more balanced to over tightening or under tightening. He said that there are lags and that we haven't felt the full effect of monetary policy tightening. So you expect a similar message, sort of benign? Yeah. Wouldn't that be a green light yeah, to keep I buying think, everything, bonds and stocks? Oh, well, look, the long and variable lags are always questionable when they'll hit. What we do know is that we're in nirvana right now. This is as good a soft landing as the Fed could have taken us into. So I, for one, am going to enjoy it. If bonds back up in yield, I'm out there buying. I think this could be a good week for this. You get CPI, you get auctions, you get the Fed. <clears throat> Maybe we'll be able to buy bonds a bit cheaper. So I agree with the gentleman. Um, I, I believe that, you know, Fed did a decent job. All right. We got to we got to give uh, uh, Jerome Powell cut him a little slack. He's done uh, a good job, which he kind of needed to do because he was one of the causes of inflation. Kept saying that it was 
uh, you know, short lived. It was transitory. OK, so we got to whenever they create these words that mean something very simple. Watch out for the okie doke. All right. So Christmas rally, what does that really mean? Santa Claus rally. I call it a Christmas rally. It's actually called a Santa Claus rally. It's usually when the market closes up higher. Right. What is the um, uh, um, what's the likelihood of that happening? Well, the odds are really on your side. Look at this, good people. For those of you that are new, the Santa Claus uh, rally has caused the S&P to gain an average of one point three percent each occurrence since 1950, according to research by the stock traders uh, almanac. Right. The Santa the Santa rally has produced gains of 18 out of 27 times. All right. Since 1993, I would say those are good odds. Larry, what does that mean? What does that break down to in percentage? Well, here you go. Since 1950, the S&P has traded higher about 78 percent of the times during the Santa Claus uh, rally period for an average gain of one point three. All right. So that's what's happening. Is that going to happen, Larry, this time for sure? Can you look me in the camera and say 100 percent is going to happen? No, I cannot say that. But I could say that it happens 78 percent of the times. So you uh, do your own due diligence. Of course, anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold or sell. But you invest according to what you see. All right. Now, what's happening in crypto? Because I'm talking real fast. It's something I want to get to. All right. This is what's happening in crypto. Crypto is cooling off as we could see. Things are cooling off because Bitcoin has cooled off and everything else has. All right. As we look here, we could see the day Bitcoin is down 7%, 7.3%. And look at Ethereum, exactly the same. So Bitcoin and Ethereum are both down. All right. So you could see you got uh, Cardano right here. Cardano is down 11%. All right. What else do we have? Polygon is down. Chainlink is down. Everything is down. Everything is down. It's to be expected. If you weren't looking for a cool off, then I don't know what to tell you because it was time for a cool off. We've been saying that for those of you that's been following me, especially on the crypto mining uh, plays. Now, before I go into some of the crypto mining plays and then talk about what I'm going to talk about real briefly, I want you guys to know this is Moo Moo Monday. I want you to check out the second link below, but the top link below in the description. If you're on your cell phone, just tap the title of this video and you'll see a drop down. We want you to come join Stock Up You. Come join the family. There's thousands of us learning and earning, all right? I give you your basics. I give you your fundamentals. Then Josh is going to give you beginner's charting, right? So you can understand all of the technical uh, stuff that you see, right? And then we got beginner options with Keenan so you can understand it. Basic fundamentals and even dividend uh, trading with uh, Mommy Trader. Mommy Trader, I just heard that you lost your father. We are praying for you. I will be reaching out to you, okay? So now, Let's look at uh, Bitcoin. These are all what cooling off. And as you can see, CleanSpark is cooling off the most because it had the biggest run up and it's almost in and it's almost stair stepping down. So CleanSpark has tanked the most today, followed by Mara, which is the biggest, followed by Riot, which is the second biggest. OK, but in uh, uh, reference to Bitcoin, these are a little more. Now, remember this. This is the best way I can explain Bitcoin miners and the way they react to Bitcoin. Just think of a slingshot or a uh, uh, remember those super balls. You, you hit them, boom, and they bounce up quicker than you went down. So a slingshot, just think of something being sling, sling right? This is Bitcoin and these are the miners. So Bitcoin moves like this, but because this is on a ban, this takes the, the, the crypto miners take off way later than Bitcoin does. 
but they're moving faster because that rubber band from that slingshot is slinging them, right? But when Bitcoin starts to come down, just imagine all the crypto miners being pulled by a rubber band. Bitcoin goes first and then here comes the crypto miners. But at some point, they, they are falling faster than Bitcoin. So just remember, very volatile. They're going to move. Now, I started uh, some puts today. And let me see if I can um, bring these up for you. So here's one of them that I did. I shared it with the uh, Patreon this morning. This is Riot. Um, and as you can see, it's a put. I'm not telling you to follow me. I'm just sh showing you what I got gotten into. As you can see, the expiration date is January 12th. And then I have some clean spark. All right. All right. So uh, that I took those pictures uh, a couple of hours ago. So I don't know where it is right now. Remember, you do your own due diligence and your own research. Now, here's what I want to talk about. And I'm sorry if I'm kind of dis shuttled, uh, but I am. My head is about to explode, but we got to continue to feed the family. So I apologize for not being on my A game. OK, forgive me. Uh, we'll be back hopefully whole tomorrow. This is what I want to tell you. I want to tell you that I made a video yesterday and um, and I showed my journey as I began. Right. I showed my beginning journey. Right. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. This, this page used to be named Larry Jones TV. All right. And um, it 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 used to be a music page. Right. And this was sharing when I started. When I started this journey to switch over and to do this, I made this video. And as you could see, um, my pay was twenty three dollars for an entire month of doing videos. OK, and and you could see everything, my, my views and how many subscribers I had and all of that. You could see that I had sixteen thousand eight hundred and fifty five subscribers. Right. My message, and I wanted you guys to hear it because a lot of you guys don't get to a chance to watch Sunday. You're watching football. I get it. Some of you guys are in church playing, praying for the Bears. And uh, your prayers came through yesterday. Thank you. Uh, but um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is despise not small beginnings. And that was my message on yesterday. I found that video, and I'll tell you right now, it choked me up. It absolutely choked me up because... I remember saying and promising to myself that I would be consistent um, every day. And my consistency starting out was to make three videos a week. And I will also tell you that being consistent is part of it, but working hard is another. Um, I've given up most of my you know, social time and friends and all of that, and I am on all day, every day to help to keep the family fed, right? Because this is more than just uh, a media company that I started. This is more than just stocks. I want you guys to prosper, but I also want you to live good lives, okay? So I wanna show you guys this also. And I've, showed, I'm sh I've shown you this over the years, but I really want you guys to see this. Now, this is me. <laughs> Right. This was 11 years ago. I never planted a tree in my life. This was 11 years ago. I went and they were having a sale on these trees and I just went and grabbed these trees. And as you can see, they were my height. Right. But I will also tell you, I got tired of looking at my neighbor's, you know, uh, boat and all of that. And I will tell you that I plan it with the future in head, ahead, right? With the future in mind. This was my trees last year. As you could see, they are way taller than I am. And I will tell you that I need to take an updated picture. Now these trees are twice my size. And they are, they're, they're at least a foot and a half taller than this. And they are about a foot and a half, about a foot wider than this is right now. OK, so my message to you in this long video, as I blabber on, is to say that despise not small beginnings in your investing journey. That's what I want to tell you guys. 
be consistent, find good quality companies and invest. And I'm just going to cut it right here because um, I got so much I want to talk to you guys about, about just changing your mindset that's going to help you uh, generate generational wealth, right? Just by your mindsets. If you are making an extra, listen, I don't care about the time. If you are making an extra hundred dollars a day and you weren't making that before, then don't look at people that's making an extra thousand dollars a day, blowing up, <laughs> blowing up their accounts, doing options. Be thankful for the hundred dollars a day and just be good with that. And don't try to make a thousand dollars a day. Just be thankful for the hundred dollars a day because we have gotten greedy. All right. So if you are making an extra hundred and fifty dollars a day and you've learned options, then don't try to make a thousand dollars a day right away. The truth be told, if you continue to make that hundred and fifty dollars a day, you're going to do better than trying to make a hot or a quick thousand, two thousand dollars. I hate it when people come and say, hey, you know, Larry, yeah, I got this money, man. Just help me flip it right quick. That's going to that's going to cause you to lose. It's going to cause you to lose a lot of money. My teaching style is different. Right. I don't want any of you guys to lose a penny. Now, I can't promise that I can't do that for anybody. I can't even do that for myself. But what I'm telling you guys is, is you need to take your time and just be happy with that. I have to tell myself that sometimes. Hey, I make a certain amount before 10, 10 o'clock. And then what happens? I get back in after I made a gain and then I wind up giving that back. Why? Greed. Greed. Right. So what I'm telling you guys is there there's a lot of plays that we can go in and grab a little money. So my my question to you is, is I want you guys to leave me a comment on what are your disciplines now that we are uh, coming towards the end of the year? What are your disciplines? What are your disciplines? Right. What have you learned in 2023 and what are your disciplines? That's what I want to know. All right. Uh, leave me a comment. Good people. Make sure you check out Moomoo, which is the second link below. And come join the class. Now's the time to be learning. Um, I believe that there'll be a pullback in January ish. And if not, thank God. Uh, but I just needed to have this conversation. I'm sorry to have it with such a, a blaring headache, but uh, we needed to have it now. Love you guys. See you later.